New developments tonight in that ITEM investigation into complaints from some Sears customers. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles finding out how Sears has made progress resolving the issues. Jason? Well, Alan, the Better Business Bureau says Sears has dramatically improved how it handles complaints. The retail giant also solved problems for people who called the I-Team. One woman has a new dishwasher. Sandra Killian is saying goodbye to scrubbing dishes in the sink and hello to her new replacement dishwasher. Show me your new dishwasher. This is the new dishwasher. It's black. It is shiny, like I asked. And you open it up, it's all silver inside, and that looks nice and pretty. But she waited eight months because she couldn't get Sears to replace her broken dishwasher under warranty. In February, the I-Team found the retailer had an NR or no rating for a spike in open, unresolved complaints. Shortly before our story aired, the grade was back up to its long-standing A. Now it's a B plus. The BBB says as of this week, Sears has no unanswered or unsettled complaints on file. Sears says it was resolving open complaints all along and blamed an administrative issue that created a delay in reporting case status back to the BBB and that it never affected our level of customer service. Well, I think that that's good on their part. And Sears has been around a long time. When I was a child, I remember my parents buying Sears appliances. That's all we knew. And four other customers mentioned in our previous I-Team report say they've received replacement products as well. I believe if I had not contacted the I-Team, I would still be fighting with Sears. Good for her. The BBB says since our story aired, they have seen a significant improvement on how fast Sears resolves complaints. Sears did say that some resolutions from our story were courtesies because customers did not follow the clearly stated policies. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are buying a high price item, you should always make sure you know the store's policy. You know, it's really easy. It's actually at the bottom of your receipt. Most of us don't look. No, look carefully. See, and we didn't know it was at the bottom of the <laughs> you receipt. You just got to so read. That really is good information. Thank you, Jason.